Hello fellas. So the problem at hand today is that this is the uh, gate for the sliding gate. This is a huge gate <coughs> that is controlled by this motor and earlier I used to have this relay switch controlled by 315 megahertz frequency remote controls but the problem was that 315 megahertz frequency that is not suitable to control the gate with the remote from even very near distance so like when we are sitting in the car the remote doesn't work you really have to get out of the car and that doesn't make sense to have a remote control even though to the fact that I try to attach this wireless antenna uh, to kind of improve the frequency uh, you know uh, range sorry not the frequency the antenna range but it still doesn't work so I recently bought of Aliexpress this two channel uh, 433 megahertz frequency switch that came along with <coughs> five of these remote controls so the basic idea is that we're going to replace this today with from 315 megahertz to 433 megahertz so let's get started please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of the latest upcoming videos. Let's move forward. So as you might have already seen that I've connected some of the cables, some of the wires, sorry. So this wire is 12 volts DC that is connected to the ground is the neural and the brown one is the 12 volts DC power supply <laughs> and then the switch that connects basically uh, see. so we are not using any photo beams with that they are short circuited so these two uh, the wire I have labeled these from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Basically, let's say you have to short circuit or connect 5 and 6 and that is what you need to control with the relay switches and that's what we have done here. So <coughs> if you see when I <coughs> see this uh, light is already lit up. Let me come from this side. These lights are already lit up. And when I press the switch, they turn on and off. That means that I just have to now program so that the buttons control the relay switches. So let's press this switch once. Once it turns off, okay, then you have to press the switch. Gets programmed. Okay, so. We have a working relay switch here. So I will, since I mean this is an overkill uh, for the system, you could have also used a single channel relay switch. We have two channel relay switch. So let me program the button B for this as well. Press this once as the light turns off. You press this. Let's check once again. Stop. Press again. Close. So this system came with uh, five remote controls you could use with any number of cars, keychains, five is quite a good number. So, uh, yeah, let's call it a day for today. See you later, guys. Bye.